Hi, I'm Dane, and we're doing Balanced Body Podcasts, and uh, we're at Buffalo, New York, at my studio, North Star Pilates Solutions. This is my assistant, Kim, and Kim is going to be demonstrating exercises for us to work on both scapular mobility and scapular stability. Uh, both of those things are really important for athletes because the arm is a very important part of connecting into the body to do any kind of athletic activity. So uh, what we want to work on is making sure that the scapula actually moves the way it's supposed to move and that on the other side of that, that the athlete can maintain the scapula stable when they need to. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to have Kim kind of lay on, the, on her stomach on the chair here and her hands are going to go on the pedals. Right? She's going to strain out the arms for me and bring the spine down to a nice neutral position here. So the pedals are not necessarily on the floor. If their arms are long enough, then that's where they'll end up. But uh, right now, Kim is in the right starting position here. So basically what we're going to work on is just scapular mobility and stability. So all I'm going to have Kim do is just gently let her shoulder blades glide together and then glide the shoulder blades apart. Perfect. So when she glides the shoulder blades together, the pedals come up a little bit. And then when she glides them apart, the pedals go down. So the whole purpose here is just to make sure again that the scapula are moving the way they should and that she has the ability to tell them where to go when she needs them to get there. Okay. So uh, with the chair, if you're using a split pedal chair, you can split the pedals and do single arm, one arm at a time. So I'm just going to take the, the, the dowel out of the chair here, and Kim's going to start the same way. So just single arm, go left arm for me first here, and just gently go into retraction of the left scapula, and then protraction of the left scapula. Good. One more time on that side for me. Great. And down. So you'd normally do that on both sides, just to make sure that both sides are working the way they should. Um, and the thing you want to make sure of, again, is that the spine stays neutral and that the person is just working on gliding those scapula up and down. So that's scapular mobilization, uh, just protraction and retraction. And now we're going to go into a little bit of scapular stabilization. So I'm going to put the dowel back in. Good. And now we're just going to work on a little bit of a, a, a chest press exercise, just trying to keep those scapula as stable as possible. So what I'm going to have Kim do is just hold her shoulder blades in place and now just inhale and bend both elbows and then exhale and gently press down. Good. So the goal here is just again to bend the elbows and keep those scapula nice and stable. So before we were working mobilization, now we're working stabilization. Good. One more time for me there, Kim. And press. Fantastic. So a different hand position as an alternate is just to turn the fingers in to face one another and just change the angle at the shoulder, gets a little bit uh, different work at the shoulder, still same idea of holding a scapula in place and just allowing the elbows to bend. Good. And one more repetition for me there. Great. Pause. And if you turn the hands back facing, fingers facing away, we can pull the dowel out and do single arm here as well. So we're going to demonstrate that once more. So we pull the dowel out. And now you're just going to do left arm and then right arm for me. So again, the same idea is maintaining the position of the scapula. And Kim is doing a great job of keeping her whole body in a nice line for us there. Good. And one more time on the right side. Good. And press. And perfect. Great. So I'll put this dial back in. All right. And that is a scapula mobilization and stabilization. Uh, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed.